Here we are, southern Indiana. It's windy and hopefully this is the last little bits of the snow. I'm so done with the cold. Burr, right? It's actually really, really, really cold outside right now. Can you see? Ice. The bane of every homesteader's existence. Ugh. I'm, I am just so ready for warm weather. So tired of this. Look, they're trying so hard. Oh my goodness. These are double daffodils. They're so pretty. Isabel's free range rabbit apparently it was way down here. It's a long way away from where she usually hangs out, and definitely a long way away from the rest of the tame rabbits. Although there are some cottontails that live through here. Uh huh. I got it. Good. Good. I picked a few of these. I'm gonna see if I can force them. Oh, yeah. They're really frozen though. The stems are even ice. I mean, it was almost like they just broke off instead of getting picked. See how those black raspberries? They're kind of a pain to get to in the spring and summer, but they're tasty. Hi everyone. So recently a few friends have asked me about my seeds and where I start them. And so they're behind me here in the south facing window. And I'm going to show you that. But I also wanted to explain that this is supposed to be my sewing room. And as you can see, I mean, there's some machines back there. But everything's a mess in here. I don't think I've even sewn in this room yet. I still have boxes packed. And I have boxes that aren't even here. They're still at the other house. But this has sort of become my all the things room for all my hobbies. Seed starting and my sewing. I even have my face painting stuff up here because it's currently slow season for me as a face painter. And so instead of having everything piled up in my dining room right close to the door, I have it up here for now. And some soap that's curing. So <laughs> there's a lot going on in this little space. You can see here, um, my wagon for my face painting, some of my face painting supplies, my chair, table, my sign. Boxes of fabric, which have been tore apart because I was looking for fabric. So excuse the mess, so, you know, this is uh, definitely needs to be cleaned up. See, I have uh, a box of soap that has cured up here and is ready to be put away. On this wall here, I could put another shelving unit. I have not done that yet because I will need all grow lights there. And this is rough enough as it is because, as you can see, things are leaning. But I'm actually getting ready to pinch. These are Floret Farm sweet peas. Um, and my friend Katie from Simple Farm asked me today, she said, have you pinched them yet? And I said, no, I haven't pinched them yet. And so we talked about that a little bit. I'm not even sure where to pinch this one. I mean, because this is the first set of leaves. Hmm, that could be interesting. I may have to ask her about that. But you can see, like, all of these lettuces and Swiss chard, they really need to go out or be potted up. And um, it's so cold. I mean, you can see there's still snow out on the ground out there. I have all my brassicas and stuff up here still that need to be transplanted. This is actually uh, some dahlias, but they're not doing anything yet. Praying that they come up. This is a, dahlias are a new thing for me. Um, I started zinnias. I said I wasn't going to start zinnias and most of those little sprouts there are zinnias. Although down here, those are thousand head kale. Yeah, it couldn't resist. I think that I have ordered from Baker like half a dozen times at least this year because I keep wanting to add more things that I hear about or I see. Down here, I have more stuff that needs to be potted up. <laughs> lots of them and the reason the fan is on in here if uh, if you don't know whenever if you look at my tomatoes here they are not very laggy now I have gone through here and I have brushed my tomatoes almost every day but the fan kind of helps do that for me um, helps them keep from getting so leggy so I have uh, rotate the fan to where it blows more on the top half the day and more on the bottom half the day 
and I do rotate the trays at times and I move these lights around at times because I've only got the two grow lights for right now. I did order two more grow lights. Hopefully they'll be here soon. In the very back there, those are peppers, those last few rows, and they're finally starting to germinate. Peppers take forever, you know? Really, they do. Most of my tomatoes this year are from Wild Boar Farms and they are doing really well. I've got Big Sun Gold, blueberries, tie-dye, I think it's called Berkeley tie-dye, indigo apple, dragon eye, Amos Collie, and Napa Chardonnay from Wild Boar Farms. And then my favorite person, personal favorite tomato so far has been pineapple. I've got some of those. And I've got some rainbow cherry tomato seeds that I had left over. And purple Russian, which Baker Creek sent me as a uh, thank you for ordering from, from us gift. So lots of things going on up here. This tray here I'm a little worried about. This is mostly herbs and flowers. And it's been up here for a couple of weeks. Just not doing much. I have two delphinium, which I stratified in the refrigerator, that have sprouted. And these are peppermint seeds. Sorry, it's a little blurry. And see, there's some more peppermint seeds over there. Those are going to be fun to pull apart, but I was watching um, a little video on Rustic Garden. I don't know if you've ever watched Gary's channel, but he's got a lot of good stuff on there. Um, and he just sprinkles the seeds on and then separates them later. So I thought I'd give that a try. But you saw how small those are. I think I might might have gotten it a little over my head. But I'm gonna rotate my fan here. See, now it's blowing up at the top. I'm hoping that helps with the lakiness because it's taking a lot longer to get things out of it than I thought it would. And I've got three or four more trays of things that I could fill up right now. But these have to go out first, and uh, yeah, they're ready. Except for maybe the little celery. It's so cute. Little tiny ones. I did buy some of the pink celery from Baker Creek, by the way. I haven't started any yet, and I'm getting a really, really late start in that, so I'm not real sure if I should just wait till fall. But knowing me, I'm not very patient, and so I'll probably start them anyway. Hopefully these are going out on Sunday. It's supposed to get up into the 50s, I believe, and 40s, and warm enough for these to go under the low tunnel that we built. And I did order some Agrabon 30 just in case it gets cold again. I'm really hoping it doesn't. Um, Thursday's my birthday. I imagine this video will probably be up about Thursday, so I'm getting old. Um, but my husband asked me, what do you want for your birthday? I'm blessed, right? <laughs> so I told him, that there's a seed swap up by Cincinnati I wouldn't mind to go to. So he seemed to think that was a great idea. Bunny babies! You can't even hardly see them though. They just were born today. And she's trying to warm them up. She brought them inside. Okay, so it's cold. And I'm gonna warm up now that I'm in. And I'll see you next time.